Good morning. Um, <laughs> you're like, why do you have toothpaste everywhere now? So this is pretty much done. So this will be the last day I have this here. Um, this kind of came back a little bit. And then these three are bug bites. <laughs> um, mosquitoes. Um, yeah, the mosquitoes here in Puerto Rico, they're a little disrespectful. And ironically, this happened while I had sunglasses on. So now I'm trying to dry those out too. So that's what's happening there. Um, they're not obvious when I take the, you know, um, to pace off, but I, I can feel that they're bitten because it's, you know, I full, I can feel it, you know what I mean? And it's basically I put it there so I won't, so I won't itch it and make it worse and then make it, make it where it is obvious in my face. So anyway, um, I wanted to give you a recap of yesterday. I did not document nearly as much of yesterday, um, cause it was a different kind of day. And I was telling, um, some people that I met here, um, at this resort, well, not resort, but like retreat type deal that I'm at. And every place I've been at in Puerto Rico so far has been a completely different experience. But like all good, but just all different. And I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know how to really reconcile it. And because I've done trips like this before where I go to different places and it's like, it's a different experience, but not really that much. Here it's like, everything's like 360. So where I'm at now, this is mainly like a mountain area, like I mentioned. And so yesterday I was out chilling at the pool. Actually, most of the day was chilled for the most part, except for I did do something stupid. So we'll get into that in a little bit though. So yesterday I started off the day where I went and got my breakfast. The breakfast starts here at this resort at 9 a.m. Um, so I did not do the yoga. Um, I am thinking I'm probably not going to do the yoga today and I'll explain why in a little bit because it has to do with me doing something stupid. Um, so no yoga, unfortunately, during this trip. Um, and so then after that, after I did the breakfast, then I went back to my room and that's when I did the video yesterday that you saw me while I was like on the hammock. So I did, so I was like in a hammock for like, I will say for about, I feel like I was in a hammock for like two hours. I was chilling on the hammock. <laughs> I was tranquila. Uh, less tranquila yesterday. Very much less tranquila. Um, also, side note, I know the longest, longer I've been here, the more I'm like kind of speaking Spanglish, but it's like more mainly English with Spanish in there. Um, and I'm hoping, I don't know. Next time I'm here, I'm hoping it'll be better and I'm talking a little bit more Spanish because I am into it. Um, and anyway, so then from there, oh, side note, when all this is happening, I'm going back and forth in resort. I keep seeing um, one of the people who I actually end up hanging out with later on. I kept seeing her around. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. So like, she looks so gorgeous. And kept seeing her and her, her um, well, now I know it's her fiance. I kept seeing them around. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And also found that they're like my age, like in their 30s. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Anyway, so I'm hanging out here. And then I was like, okay, I need to go to the pool. And this is at this point, it's like around 1.30. And side note, I'm still only eating like two meals a day. Um, I just don't have the desire to eat more than that right now. Um, because I'm not doing as much, number one. And number two, it's so warm outside. And I'm like this in general. Like in the summer months, it's I don't eat a lot of food unless I'm like full-on training mode like if I'm running and stuff yeah I eat a lot of food but because I'm not really running or really burning anything off it's like there's no need for me to be eating a ton of food um so I said I go to the to the pool which I was I thought I was gonna document I never did um so I went to the pool as I'm chilling at the pool and stuff I meet um three people actually 
at first I met Jan and, um, well, I met a couple, well, I'm, you know what? No, I'm not going to say names. I'm not going to say names because I might run to them again at some point. Not on the island, but I'll probably run to them again, like traveling because they are, they're travelers like I am. So I'm hoping I'll run to all of them again at some point. Um, so I met two, I met three people at the pool because I was just kind of like sitting poolside getting, you know, getting some sun, um, just chilling. And right then there, I found out there after I'm talking to them and we know we figure out where we're all from, like, oh, we're going to do the river hike. Do you want to come with us? Because we're thinking we're about to go on the river hike and then, you know, chill in the river. Um, and for those who are from like Chicago and like places in the Midwest, the rivers here are like crystal clear. So they're like actually nice rivers. Like you do go in there and you chill in them. <laughs> um, they're not um, aggressive enough where they'll pull you. Um but they're also not deep enough where you can swim in them. Like you're literally just kind of like, you're kind of using it as a little bit like a, like a hot tub, if you will. Cause it, after a while, it kind of felt like it was a hot tub. That's, but it's, cause it's, cause it's so warm outside. It actually cools you down in the beginning, but then once you're in there, it just feels like lukewarm water. So it's so cool, but so different. <laughs> but anyway, I kind of got ahead of myself right there. Um, in a okay. moment, I'm back. So then from there, um, I was like, yeah, I'll do the hike with you guys. Cool. Because remember how I originally, I said that if I was to do the hike, I would have to tell the front desk I'm doing it because you're, if you do it by yourself there, you're supposed to let them know. And now I understand why. So I went with them, um, because this has to do with what happened and why, why I did something stupid. I'm hiking with them. Um, so I, we left the pool, all of us got changed. I got my bag, put my, you know, put a towel in my bag and all that stuff. Didn't even use a towel. Cause it wasn't like, I was like that wet. I dried up cause I forgot. And it's one of those things you forget when you're in really, really hot weather and it's not raining. Cause yesterday was a perfect day, by the way, there was, an, it, it didn't ring at all, which is rare. I found out from one of the people who ended up meeting while I was at the river who actually used to live here, she's like, it rings like at three o'clock every day. So the fact that it didn't ring at all yesterday was like, that's not, that's, that's actually kind of cool. That's like a rare thing. So, um, that's like some island vibes. It rings every day at three. Like that's what normally happens. But because it didn't do that, um, cause she's actually from like the mountains areas, not this exact location, but she's from this kind of, vicinity so she's very aware of all the stuff here and all the places to go and so while Janet so while I'm hanging out with one of the people um we're gonna call the person I keep accidentally saying their name we're gonna call her um Julie call her Julie so while I'm hanging out with Julie um, which by the way, she's an amazing woman. She's, um, not what she looks like. She looks like she would be like in her mid fifties, early sixties. She's like actually 72, <laughs> but she's like a climber. And so that's actually why they're there. Why a lot of them are here. They're climbers, um, like rock climbers okay. I'm back. So, um, and apologies. I'm morning allergies because also side note, before I go more into this story, um, it gets warm once the sun rises and then once the sun goes down, similar to like how it is even like in Arizona and the other places, um, it gets really, really cool. So that's also why my throat sounds a little hoarse and everything. And I'm kind of glad I brought the throat lozenges just in case, even though I felt better because of that. Um, so there is a rapid change in temperature daily here. And that's usually what messes up my sinuses actually. So, um, I've been staying at 80% basically this whole trip because there's no way with the change in temperature, I need consistent temperature for me to get 100% better. Um, and I messed around, left one of the windows open. And when it gets that chilly, you don't need the window open. It kind of, because you have the fans, everything going out throughout the day, because the one thing that's cool, but also different about 
this place when it's not the summer yet is it's warm outside right but there's always a constant breeze so it doesn't feel as warm as it really could feel um so like 80s 90s with wind but it's like not a warm wind it's a nice cool wind because you're right along the water right so it's perfect um kind of similar to chicago actually because for those who know you know if you're by the lake it's cooler than if you're away from the lake which is why i'm always but that's why i live by the lake actually in chicago Sim- similar thing for the summer months but anyway um but it just doesn't quite cool down. You still need your air conditioning and stuff in Chicago because the humidity is like a different kind of humidity. And the humidity here is not really the same. But anyway, um, different climate, different temperament because it's like, you know, tropical rainforest like type of stuff with mountains and Chicago's the Midwest. So there's a huge difference, right? Right. Okay. So... Um, we are then deciding, okay, we're going to go on this hike. And so as we're getting ready to go on this hike, I also had some snacks with them. They had like some, um, candied, um, ginger. So I had some of that with them. Um, and then we all decided to go on this hike. We're going on this hike. And I mean, it was within five minutes, five, 10 minutes of this hike. Not even that long. I... One of the people there, um, we'll call him Adrado. He's like, watch out for the rocks. There's, they said there's some rocks here, so watch out. As he's saying that, and I kind of, part of me is thinking, I wish he wouldn't have said that because I don't think anything would have happened if he said that. I literally messed around and found a part of the ground where the grass was high, but there was like a hole there. I found it. And I walked right into it and twisted my ankle. <laughs> but the, the other foot. Not the foot where I had the broken toe. The other foot. So, of course, I'm shocked. I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Because it was like a, it was a nasty twist. Like, I was like, oh. I was like, oh no. And so at first I was like, wait, can I put weight on this? Um, and of course I could at the time. But I know this about me. I felt I felt immediately like adrenaline going through. So of course I could put weight on it now because my adrenaline kicked in. My adrenaline always kicks in, like whenever I'm doing any type of physical activity because of my me being an endurance athlete. So that's how I get through endurance sports is your adrenaline going. That doesn't mean that there's not a problem, but I wasn't gonna tell them that. I'm like, okay, no, I'm fine. Let's go. And it's not horrible, but it's not good. Like, it's probably going to take probably three days, three, four days for it to feel better. So, long story less long, I'm not going to be running at all during this trip. I thought I was going to. I was like, yep, no, not happening now. Um, that's okay. I'm going to try to walk on treadmill, see what it does to maybe loosen it up and whatnot. But, because I'll, I'll have a treadmill the next place I'm staying at. But, because um, I'm ending in San Juan. But, um, yeah, that happened right at the beginning as I'm hiking. But I was like, okay, no, no, we're going to keep going. So me being now constant that I did this is like, okay. So now I had to kind of take it easy with how I'm hiking. So I'm walking much slower, taking it easy, making sure I don't do anything stupid again. um, Because that kind of shocked me. But I explained to them all because they all felt bad. I was like, no, 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 this is a good thing. Because I'm doing, I'm back to... I need to get back to trail running, like, you know, really, really actively trail running. Because, you know, like, as I mentioned before, oh, wow, hold on. Okay. Um, as I mentioned before, um, two, two of them, so Julie and we'll call the other person Emma. Julie and Emma, both of them are rock climbers. Emma's more my age, though. Um, And then Julie's um, son, adopted son, is here, too. And he's closest to my age um, than everyone else. And 
he's 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 a, he's interesting. <laughs> he kind of cracks me up. Uh, I I enjoyed all of them yesterday, but anyway, so his name Eduardo. Um, that's who I was talking to before I did that to my ankle, and I was like, okay, now I can't talk. I gotta focus and just walk. <laughs> Cause I mean, I'll be honest, I found him attractive. Duh. Um, he's he's actually adopted, but he's like Puerto Rican. Um. <laughs> So, um, we're walking, same complexion and everything. And if I, t- and then I'm going to tell you later on what happened and it's kind of quite comical, but so we're out and we're walking and, and then we get, we finally get to where we need to go. Right. And once we get to where we need to go, then we're at this river, there's rocks everywhere. So, so you actually could try to jump cliff, jump it, um, None of us thought it was a good idea other than Eduardo. Eduardo was thinking about it. I was like, no. Because I can tell by looking at the water, there's more rocks there than you can tell because the rocks are like, have gotten like colorized through like the, um, through being there for so long that it looks like it's water. It's not water. It's actually, the rocks are still there. So I'm glad we didn't, he didn't do that. We were like, we kind of talked him off of that ledge. He found a really, really cool spot where he chilled at. I was like, dang. Because I found out later on, he found a really, really cool spot where it was like a little bit more like a pool pool. And because he went further along to find it. The rest of us kind of stayed in the general, general vicinity. We're like, eh, I think this is good. Because um, I think they did mainly because of me. I feel kind of bad. But honestly, it was for the best because that's how we met another person the same person who i was running into earlier on 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 this property and because also all this is on the property by the way it's just a really really large property um like a really large property um and so we were like oh um we'll call her um Hmm. We'll call her Selena, <laughs> even though I know that's you know associated with like she's that's mes- that's Mexican person that's associated with she's not Mexican she's Puerto Rican but J Lo played her and J Lo's Puerto Rican right? We don't know anymore. That's a whole nother thing. We're not gonna talk about that. But <laughs> um, so we um for those who get it you get it um but okay. So Emma ends up talking to her because we're all kind of like in our individual spots. And Eduardo's like, well, I would have told y'all about it, but y'all were all clicked up. So I just like kept going. I was like, I would have went. I think, I mean, it would have been kind of harder for me to go, but I would probably try to go. And he's like, yeah, but like your, I could tell your foot wasn't doing okay. And then it got worse when you sat for so long, which she wasn't wrong. So we were there for, I would say, like an hour or so. Because, I mean, it felt good. And also where we're at in this river is, like, nice and shaded. So it was like, and we're all talking and really getting to know each other. And then I found out more information about, like, them being travelers. They kind of go everywhere. And, um, like, world travelers. And a lot of them do solo trips. So they're all kind of, we're all kind of like kindred spirits, if you way, just hanging out. Um, and... Then from Selena, because we all commenced right and said, okay, it's time to go now. We've been here for a while. Because I think at this point now it's four. We got there around two. So we're all heading back. And side note, I am kind of a little bit annoyed that I did that to my ankle, even though it was a good thing. Oh, because I did actually explain to them that was actually probably more of a good thing than they realized because I forgot I didn't continue that thought. Um, Is because... I'm training for a 50K, right? And that's like in October. And that I need to actually get back to running trails like more regularly. And I'm going to be doing that. That That's going to be a normal thing. And doing that ironically, even though that hurts, as long as you don't go like over, over overextend and then keep on walking on it after you do it, as long as it's like a a grade one, it's not grade two or grade three um, spring or anything like that. It's good to help strengthen your ankle so that it's used to you rolling. Because a lot of times in trails, you do end up rolling anyway. 
but it's more or less you need to roll and be able to recover and keep running. So that's kind of also the mindset that I have when I did that. It's like, okay, I rolled, but like in a race, I would, I would actually keep going. I would have kept running the race because um, my adrenaline would let me continue it. And then eventually I would have the ice and all that stuff afterwards, which I didn't do the icing part, but the river was technically the ice because it was like cold in the river. Um, and then I was elevating when I got back from back from the walk and everything with them. And then Emma gave me some ibuprofen because um, she had she didn't quite have ibuprofen, but it's a similar thing, something she takes for migraines. Um, she gave that to me. I was like, okay, cool. Now I I have I think I have everything I need. And then immediately, as soon as I got back to um, here. I put on a compression sock. Similar, I have a compression sock on right now, actually. And I slept all night last night with my um, left leg elevated. So I've been trying to, you know, nurse it or whatever so I can still, you know, use it. It's not going to be a big deal. But anyway, so we ended up walking back and we found out from Selena that, you know, she knows the places, she knows the spots here. So we actually can go somewhere not too far away for dinner and drinks. And... We were all like, yeah, we'll go. And this place was a vibe. We did end up going. We all got changed and we ended up going out. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, let's let's go into the story of that. So also side note, um, the people who I end up talking to. So Emma is like from um, California, um, but she lives in the van now. So she kind of like travels the country and stuff and like snowboards and like um rock climbs like she's she's kind of a drifter and but cool is cool as all get out um camps does the whole thing um and then um jan lives in um seattle washington but she originally lived in Chicago, so she knew exactly, when I told her where I lived in Chicago, she knew exactly where it was, because she used to live in, like, Hyde Park back in the day. I was like, okay. <laughs> so she's like, oh, you live in Edgewater? I know exactly. She's like, wait, wait, what, what intersection you live? And I told her, she's like, oh my gosh, I know exactly where that's at. Okay. Because, um, you know, she's, she lived here, she lived in Chicago for years, so that was that was hilarious. Um, and then um, Adrado, he lives in Los Angeles, but he, he did go to school in Baltimore. So we were talking about some Baltimore things for a little bit because um, I visit Baltimore a couple times. Um, and then um, I found out then Selena, she lives in Jacksonville, Florida now, but she used to live in Puerto Rico. And um, so she just wanted to come here, you know, kind of vacation and stuff like that. And she's here with her fiance, and her um, her fiance will call him Rob. He is born born in New York, Long Island um, area, and then raised in Jacksonville, Florida, and that's how they met. And um, they kind of travel around stuff together. So anyway, we met all them after. So after I got back, of course, put the um, compression sock on, hung out on the hammock for like probably like a half an hour to an hour. And then I was like, okay. And I, then I text Emma. I was like, okay. Cause I already exchanged numbers with Emma. I was like, Hey, what time's dinner? And she's like, yeah, we're going to try to leave at five 30. And I'm learning that this group don't ever leave on time. <laughs> Cause this is one of the rare moments where I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be the jerk that's late. So we were all on time, but we, um, they had to, handle some things on their end so i end up going to um end up waiting on them because i wasn't gonna drive i that was my whole thing i was like there's no way i'm driving and now i now have a way to go and venture off without having to drive because i already told you it was getting here was like a little bit of a whoo and they're gonna deal with it when they have to go west um because the funny thing is now they're clicking up and they're all going to just end up continuing hanging out because they're all going west anyway, all of them. And I did the opposite. I, I went from the west and now I'm going, you know, east. And so, anyway, um, so we ended up getting there, taking two cars because there was like, oh, and then Rosalie, oh, sorry, another lady. Um, I'm not going to use her name. I'm going to bleep out that name. 
Um, we'll call her. Sarah. I don't like that name, but we'll call her Sarah. Um, and I'm not, I didn't want to associate, but I can't think of another name quick enough at this point. But anyway, so Sarah joins us um, also on the from the resort, and we're all like, yeah, let's go. So we all just decided to go, and um, I don't know what's going on with this edge. I need to put this back on so it lays down a little bit more. Okay. Um, so then we end up going to this place, and it was a... Uh, uh, I gotta think of the name. Hold on, we one moment. We went to uh, Ahalero Las Palate, um, also known as a hole in the wall. Um, I think that's how they say it here um, in Puerto Rico because we actually got into this conversation later on while we were there about how like there's a there's a lot of um, slang, like um, Spanish slang, that's spoken here, but. I'm used to, because I grew up around people who are Mexicans, I'm used to Mexican slang, not Puerto Rican slang. It's not the same. So some ling- some like words they don't use here that they would use like, you know, and because they're not speaking proper like Spanish, like they're speaking like Puerto Rican Spanish, just like, you know, the United States, our English is United States English is not going to be the same thing as like U- U- UK English where um, they have slang words and stuff because every language uses slang. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's, I think, what they call it, the hole in the wall. So we end up going to this place and <sighs> we had us a time. We had us a time. Uh, so us three ladies, were well, us four ladies were the only four ladies there and we found out that's a cultural thing. That's definitely a cultural thing. Um, people who are local here, the ladies stay at home while the men go out to bars. So it's like all men at the bars all, at all times. But what what the funny thing was, a lot of us look like we we're like clicked up or like kind of in the situation, whatever. So like Eduardo and I were matching. So we look like we're like on a date. And like we're all dressed too. All of us kind of got dressed up and cleaned up. Um, well, yeah, for the most part, we got cleaned up and got, you know, I had a dress on, and Zelina had a dress on, her fiance had a nice outfit on, Eduardo had a nice outfit on, like, it was a whole thing, and we we're all just kind of like, hey, you know, just looking good and all that, and so we are just, like, having a good time, and because Selena's been here before, she's like, okay, okay, the mojitos here are, are they're busting, they're good, they're good. Um, and the best one to get is the passion fruit mojito. I didn't start with that. I actually started with the OG, like the classic mojito. Cause I just wanted a regular mojito cause the, the mint, cause I knew the mint would make me feel a little bit better. Um, so I had that. And then after that, then I had, um, the passion fruit mojito afterwards. And then also too, we ordered the sample platter. And when I mean the sample platter was huge, there were seven of us, right? This sample platter was so big. There were still leftovers. And it was only $42 for this large sample platter. There is seven of us. Why was the bill only $117 and there's seven of us? With drinks. And we were all full. Child, I miss, I miss... I miss before inflation was inflating. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. Because that $117, I can make $117, I can make $117 happen by myself. I don't even need to do that by my like without others in Chicago. And the fact that there were seven of us and it was only that was the price. So um we each gave um Selena like the 20 bucks, because then that way the tip happened there too. And we were all set. We were all set. It was it was a good time though. We ended up having, um, we ended up dancing a little bit while we were there. So they're teaching us how to salsa. Um, I kind of already know how salsa, um, but I it was nice to get a refresher because I kind of forgot a little bit. And then afterwards, then Adriana was like, "Hey, I think I'm going to go pool afterwards. We should go to pool afterwards." I was like, "Yeah, let's all go to the pool afterwards." Because by the way, this pool doesn't close until like ten, and this 
we're getting back. We decided to get back, and we ended up getting back by like 8 o'clock. So that was like two hours of hanging out at the pool. And so we continued on, hung out at the pool afterwards, and we got back. Okay. Um, so I made some adjustments because now it's sunny out. So anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, we went back to the pool. And when I tell you we were having us good time, um, they taught, so we did more dancing. But, I, oh, side note, I wasn't able to do any of the dancing while we were, like, at um, the hole in the wall because of, um, well, my ankle. So I did do the dancing while I was in the pool. So I went to the pool, and that was the other reason why I was like, the pool sounded like a good idea, because I was like, okay, maybe this pool will actually help me with my ankle so it can I can recover it sooner rather than later. Because I still, I'm still gonna be doing some walking around. I'm, I'm basically gonna pretend it's, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, the rest of the trip has to still. The, the show must go on. We'll just say that. But anyway, so we end up having a good time. End up finding out so much more about each other. Uh, Selena, she's in literally the same industry as I am, and so her company had literally a similar situation I had with my company because we got into all that. And um, she's in that field. And I was like, yeah. And it it was just like really dope and really cool to have people talk to about all that. And it was just a good time. We just ended up vibing and had a good time. And it just cracked. It it was just like a happy accident that all of us, minus like a handful, we're all in the same age group. So we're just like having a good time. And all of us are used to being solo travelers. So this is literally, for those who wonder why I do the solo traveling thing, this is exactly why I do it. I can mix and be around people and meet new people. And I may or may never, I may or may not ever see them again, but there's no expectations. It's beautiful. I have Emma's number. So if I'm ever on the West Coast and she's somewhere in that vicinity in her van, I can link up with her now. Or she can, you know, re- have me reach out to someone else, like Jan or sorry. Wow. I keep doing that Um, because I'm not trying to use the real name. Um, I'm going to bleep that out. Um, Julia, um, Julie, if I want to bring up Julie or Julia, um, I could, you know, because I've never been to Seattle. I now have someone to link up with Um, or next time I'm in L.A., I have someone to link up with. If I'm ever in Jacksonville, Florida, I have someone to link up with. If I'm ever back here and they're here at the same time, I have someone to link up with. If they're traveling somewhere international and I happen to be going the same time they're going, I have someone to link up with. This is exactly why solo traveling is like, this is why I do it. Because if I'm with someone else, I don't know how extroverted I'm allowed to be in some ways. Because you're kind of on someone else's schedule. The winging it doesn't wing. Like, I, me going to the pool was just a chance thing. And then that's how all that transpired. Like, I was just winging it. And this is exactly why solo traveling is greater than it. So anyway, that pretty much, I, I was there. We were there until they kicked us out of the pool. Because they, I mean, they kicked us off the pool because we were kind of being loud and we have they have quiet time here which is perfect because then you can go to sleep so i got home i got back to here went back went went ahead and changed and then went to bed and then you know did this whole deal and got myself together and went to sleep um yeah so plans for today we'll get into that so plans for today um the good news is, is with this place the checkout's not until noon so what I'm probably going to end up doing is getting the breakfast at 9 a.m. And then after I get the breakfast, try to pack some of the stuff away, not all of it, and take stuff back to the car. And then I think I might hit the pool one more time um, just to lay out. I probably won't actually go in the pool, but I'm going to dress as if I'm, I am. And then from there, then I am going to go to a couple of the spots that are closer by. Um, So I'm going to kind of go the opposite direction of where I'm actually going to hit up the indigenous. um, There's an indigenous spot that I want to check out that isn't too far away from here. I'm going to take advantage of that. 
Um, and then there was one other thing I think that was on that on my list that's close to that that I'm going to take advantage of that and do. And then from there, then I'm going to get back up and then take um, the direct way to getting here to um, from San Juan. Because the getting here from San Juan and getting back from San Juan is actually the easier way of getting here. If you're going to do other stuff here, it's the harder way. So I'm going to be doing that briefly. Um, and from here to San Juan's only like an hour and a half to get there. But my check-in for San Juan's not until 4 p.m. So I'm going to have a lot of time to kill <laughs> again. Um, so what I'll probably end up doing is doing the site stuff here around this vicinity. And then go to San Juan, have lunch and then check in and all that good stuff and put my stuff away and then we're back out and about um the thing is though because the check-ins at 4 p.m i'm not gonna have a lot of time to do stuff other than maybe get dinner and then after that and i don't know how long the pool's open to because i might do the pool there too <laughs> If you're wondering how I'm going to do all these pool things, I try. I, I actually packed like eight bathing suits. And technically, the bathing suits that I wore yesterday, two of them, it's spring water. So it's like the cleanest water of waters. So I literally could probably just, you know, wear those again. And I think I might. Actually, no. The one that I might. The one I'm going to probably wear again, I'm going to wear the one that I wore last night. The other one I'm not because that was the one that was in the river. But, um... Yeah, that's the game plan. Um, I'll try to take more pictures today. Yesterday I didn't take nearly as many. I did get a picture last night because Emma took a picture of me while we were at dinner. And I was looking cute. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, that concludes what happened yesterday. A little bit of a recap of what happened yesterday. Today is Sunday, so I, this is day, day seven slash six. So after that, I'm going to have two more days and I'm back home. So anyway, bye for now. <clears throat> last day here I leave like in I'm gonna try to get out of here in 15 minutes but man I don't want to leave I'm so relaxed <laughs> this has been out of all of the parts of the trip I would say so far this has been the favorite every time so every time during this trip so far I've said like after I went from one place to the other I'm like that's my favorite that's my favorite. Now this part is my favorite. And now I'm just looking forward to what San Juan's going to give. Just because the trip's been great so far. Um, yeah, I did definitely twist my ankle though. So I am <laughs> wearing compression socks. But um, it doesn't hurt when I'm not like walking. Um, it does. I am walking a little gingery, gingerly. But... I probably could actually run on it if I really had to. Um, it's just bruised. It's definitely bruised. Um, so that's all it is. Um, <clears throat> but, so I'm going to stop by the pharmacist and get some um, ibuprofen. That way I can keep it pushing. And I don't have any icy hot on me. I think I might buy some, like, like a little travel size one to like put something on it and then that way we're good to go we just keep it pushing um yeah so the plan for the day I already mentioned what the plan was but I wanted to come on here because I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit um also too this is the last day of me being 39 ah! <laughs> so um this morning we had I had breakfast I met up with the gang again so like I was hanging out with the crew um, and all of them pretty much left minus, um, 
trying to think who did I Sarah I think it's who the last person I called their name by that's not the real name but I don't remember what name I used for them she's here another day but everyone else is on their way so I found out um, Selena actually has a she lives here part-time so she actually has a house like in the mountains here so she's gonna go to her house in the mountains and like let her dogs on whatever so that's the other reason why she's so knowledgeable about this area so because she still has property here um, even though she lives in Florida and then um, Emily sorry I'm Emma yeah we're gonna bleep that out Emma um, and Julie and Adrana they are head they are headed west. They left probably I would say around nine fifty ish this morning. So um the checkout's at twelve, so that's why I have a little bit more time. Um but yeah, I already did start packing stuff. So I have stuff already like packed up and ready to get out there and I'm gonna just slowly get that done. That's not gonna take very long, sorry. Packed up and I'm pretty much ready to go for the most part um and then off off and running i go but um yeah this part of the trip has been it's been wonderful um definitely more the naturey side so i do still have, pardon me you can see i have the bites so this is where the bite is at here so that's where the redness is coming from i got the here i have a bite here and i have a bite here <laughs> Um, but because it's all even, you can't really tell. But anyway, my allergies also been killing me too. Okay, sorry. Um, my allergies have been killing me, but yeah. Um, yeah, you could definitely see the bug bites, but that's what that is. But other than that, the skin is glistening. Um, yeah. And then still got that little bit of what's going on there left. Um, but it's been a good trip. It's been a great trip. Oh man, it's drying up. Um, yeah, it's been a good trip. I feel like I'm just on here to be on here at this point. Anyway, bye. This is where I'm heading into. I'm gonna have some lunch. It's gonna be good. So I I forgot to mention I did get to my hotel. Um, so I've been in my hotel in San Juan, but I haven't been able to really do anything because it's been raining the whole entire time. And a child, based off of that, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do much tomorrow. I might do try to do a rum tour. I met some people downstairs, um, which is kind of cool because um, your girl's been drinking. Some rum. Some rum. Because that's what, that's what Puerto Rico's all about, right? Right. So, anyway. So, the plan is tomorrow I'm either going to be doing a rum tour or um, if I can't get the rum tour done, then um, I will try to go to Old San Juan. But it just really depends on the weather. It's like 75. 70% chance that it's going to rain tomorrow. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But besides that, all I really did today was just kind of just chill. Um, tranquila for most of the day. Went to another local spot on the way to San Juan to, um, you know, get some food. Um, and then just went to San Juan from there. And if you notice, my bug bites... Um, it's swollen over here, but it's, this one's actually almost gone. You don't see it here anymore. I can feel it, but it's gone. But this, I still need to put something on it. And then this is still pretty irritated. So I'm going to put some bug spray on, I mean, some spray on that. Um, some toothpaste on that to heal that up. And this is just almost gone. Just It's just drying out. So, Yeah. <laughs> 
this trip has been an interesting trip when it comes to, like my face and stuff. <laughs> like I feel like my face, my face has just been getting beaten up. Like, but as far as like everything else has been a good trip. So I guess for the rest of the evening, I'm gonna edit some videos. Um, I miss watching Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm debating whether I'm going to watch. I might wait till tomorrow to watch it tomorrow morning. I'm not trying to watch it any sooner than that. And then um, Martha's Vineyard, I'll watch when I get back home. I'll do a normal review that, for that. But yeah, I'm kind of, I'm glad Real Housewives of Potomac's wrapping up. And um, I don't know if I'm going to do it next season based off of how this, the preview of what I saw. I don't know if I'm going to do it again. But anyway, that pretty much concludes tonight. I'm going to finish my drink and go to bed. And it is almost 10. So yeah, bye now.